ain't no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends, imports, many maybe I'm fucking with. Hype beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs, don't know about. Me. I'm going to be harassing that poor man for you know once a month at least for the next twelve. So uh, I want to do that. I want. I want to. I want a movie Deadpool, I want a movie uh, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, Patrick Stewart, Professor X, you know. I want a Rebecca Romaine and a Jennifer Lawrence uh, head swap for Mystique. I mean, you know, I think, I think there's some amazing characters that I would, you know, I would love to get to. So. What's that? What happened? We knew what happened. Chair Professor X or wheelchair Professor X? Oh, Owen's fine. Owen's happy. At some point along the way, it was like, yeah, we, we, we were, we were, we were yeah, actually yeah. wasn't yeah. even sure where it necessarily came No, I, I think I was joking with you guys maybe at Comic Con a year or so ago about, like, does, uh, you know, would you be happy with a build a figure? of the hover yeah. chair and you know of course everybody was like yes because you just want a hover chair so you couldn't care less how you get it you know it's just like give me the chair so um and that enthusiasm helps when we have to go pitch it and they don't it does Professor X and explain yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, we, that, I think I think a hover chair could fit very well in the rider's line. We was, I was talking with someone downstairs. They asked about Crystal, and, and he was an Inhumans fan. Uh, he asked if we're going to be doing more Inhumans, and I said, you know, while we're that, while there's none currently in the works, there's no reason why we won't hopefully finish the Royal Family. And he brought up Lockjaw, and I said, Lockjaw and Crystal would be a great vehicles. You know, he, he is a vehicle. He transports them wherever they want to go. So, in the manner of speaking. You know, why couldn't Lockjaw be, you know, why couldn't a giant space dog with a tuning fork be a vehicle as well? So. Yeah, I mean, I was, you talked about, you said, you talk about it. Yeah. You know, before, I think that's probably the second thing for me, because it was kind of a uh, challenge to get off the ground at first doing vehicles, you know, out of respect to Toy Biz, it's not the first time Legends has ever done vehicles. Um, in our line, and uh, so hopefully Ghost Rider and Black Widow do well and continue to do more in the future, because whether it's Lockjaw or other actual <laughs> traditional vehicles or, you know, more zany things. Any plans for uh, Spider-Man and Amazing Friends? <laughs> Maybe like a three-pack? <laughs> What's the, what's the third member? Uh, you got Spider-Man, uh, Iceman, and uh, Firestar. Oh, I thought you were going to go with Miss Lyon. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys didn't even think about that, huh? Was that? You guys didn't even think about that, huh? Oh, no, we're always trying. We actually, we pitched a, uh, a Firestar in the uh, Spider-Man line oh, yeah. two or three years ago. And uh, she got shot down because she's a mutant. So at that point in time, uh, we weren't allowed to mix universes. So warrior. even though the even though that theme of the the, the old animation made sense um, under the hierarchies of today, we, we weren't able to make Firestar there. But um, she, yeah, she's been sculpted for um, two or three years. So. Classic New Warriors team with Night Thrasher. Yeah. Um, we had to do cool. this this way. Uh, which, uh, body armor. And since you start, started Songbird, we need the rest of the Thunderbolts. <laughs> which uh, Black Order figures are we getting from the movie? Pro uh, Proxima, Midnight, and Thanos? And that, that's it? Proxima and Thanos are the only two that have been revealed in Wave 1. And Proxima has double elbows. Just I saw that. I saw that. So, for the last 10 years, where's our double elbows on our women? All right, well, that's one out of out of 100 start? or so. It's a start. <laughs> that's because she's wearing armor, right? What's that? You did it because she's wearing armor, right? No, I, I, I did it because, honestly, because you guys have been asking for it. It worked better because of her armor and her size because she has a really tall, you know. She, yeah, she, she looks like she's she pretty tall. The picture, she's, she's a big, big lady. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I'm quoting uh, Deuce Bigelow there. Oh. <laughs> but uh, she has double elbows. And Pepper downstairs has double elbows. She's got double elbow on her iron arm. Really? Mm -hmm. um, are there any plans for... It's two out of a hundred. <laughs> right. Are there any plans for any of the uh, comic-based uh, order, Thanos order? Yeah, we, we can do that. I think, um, I, ideally, I would, now that we've started it, I would love to finish uh, his uh, theatrical team so you have a unified... Yeah, well, I mean, it's vintage black. Group, yeah. whatever, yeah. you know, so I would like to go there first, but uh, I think the, I th and I think some of, I mean, honestly, the designs of the, the, what we've seen.
seen, yeah, like, they, they, re they revealed all of the uh, maquettes at D23, right? Mm -hmm. So the designs of most of these characters are pretty really close uh, to what you've seen in, in classic lore. Um, you know, some minor big changes and things, but, like, uh, Corvus Glaive looks pretty much like, you know, he's got a little bit more embellishment to his costume, but that's... Yeah, he looks like a Grim Reaper, so he's, you know, he's there, you know, if we get around to doing him, that's pretty much would go both ways. And I think Proxima is pretty much identical too, with the exception of her crown was a little bit different in lore, but I think those are at least minor things that we, you guys could look past and, you know, um, hopefully, well, hell, you know, we could actually probably throw a classic head on that figure at some point in the future and redeco her, and there you go. So quite a few people are saying that uh, the Cap from the uh, Infinity War line, the unmasked head for Cap, looks like you. Yeah, I was... <laughs> uh, how much swearing am I allowed to uh, do in these? No? Not even little? No. You haven't earned any. I haven't earned any? Oh, man. Because uh, uh, our marketing uh, director, Malvika, gave me a great line that I'm not allowed to share, apparently, uh, on, uh, on, on live feeds. But uh, uh, I've been rocking that look for the last five to, to six So you're saying Cap stole your look? I think Cap stole my look, right. if anything. Officially. Officially, Chris Evans stole my look, all right? I swear to God, that when I saw that figure, I was like... He was mad that Dave Bonner got his own war machine for him. He had to sneak his face in on that Captain America thing. <laughs> Um, with the success of the Hydra 2 packs, will we be seeing more army builder packs like that? Maybe uh, Shield or AIM, or, you know, just different takes on those, uh, those guys? Yeah, I mean, we're kicking around some ideas. Um, like the yeah, Red Skull figure for the 10th anniversary. Right, I saw that. That was a surprise. In and of itself, it's a true builder, so there's fun ways, fun twists on ways to do that. We've got Multiple Man uh, in the X Men line with three, two alt heads, right? Two alt heads, so three heads. So that's kind of another example. Um, but yeah, you look at those other classic, you know, whether it's. We talked about this a little bit downstairs, but I just want to kind of get it on, on camera. But can you guys explain the process of uh, distribution as far as like, because a lot of collectors are feel like feel like they're being bombarded right now with wave after wave and their wallet is not really getting a break. So um, can you tell me what the... Um, the actual street dates are for the waves that are like trickling out right now? So it's very easy to determine that. All you have to do is read the outside carton and it'll tell you. So clearly the Avengers wave one was March for March, marked for March 3rd, which we haven't hit yet, but that's kind of trickling out there. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're a little sour over that, but, uh, you know, stuff happens, so we understand. I think it was unintentionally uh, that all the waves were stacked on top of each other. We had planned for Spider Man to hit a little later. And the thing with Deadpool was, um, for a while they didn't confirm the release of the movie, so we were assuming it would be a first quarter movie. The first movie was February, it was around this time, you know, um, when it came out, so we were assuming that Deadpool 2 would be the same, and that we'd have Deadpool Wave 1 ready to go 1-1, one, one, and then they said June 1st for Deadpool, and then they later moved it up two weeks to May 18th, but now, so we tried to push Deadpool back a little bit, but it was already, you know, kind of... Um, so we got Black Panther right now in February, which is out for sure. I've seen that at yep. Toys R Us. <laughs> March is supposed to be Lizard? It was supposed to be around that March time frame as opposed to now. But so that being said, like, because Deadpool and Spider-Man are classic based waves and they weren't marked on the carton outside, mm -hmm. we're actually opening it up now, so now that's why it's, you're seeing it in more and more places. And then so. Deadpool was, uh, a, according to Toys R Us uh, managers, it's uh, April, right. <laughs> April so, 13th street date. So would you rather have it two months earlier or two months later? Definitely earlier. Okay. <laughs> um, so they are free to sell those things now? Yeah, so there, we're, we're opening that up. Um, we are more able to do that Actually, we are not able to do that for movie waves. Those are hard set dates from the licensor. They have so much going on. This needs to be like all about Black Panther, and rightfully so. So we're not. They really, talking they about really it protect anymore. their, uh, their merchant, merchandising slash marketing windows because they're putting a lot of effort into these things. And, want, and it pays off, right? Yeah, Black yeah. Panther is amazing, and yeah. 
have you don't a response. For, for instance, you don't want Black Panther to launch, you know, too soft, too far before the movie comes out. Then everybody goes sees the movie. They're super excited, mm -hmm. and they run to toy shelves, and they're all empty because the collectors have bought them clean. It's like that's not a good business model. You want to get the things lined up appropriately so that they're out there, that you get that marketing buzz as you're heating up to the moment. But you know, you want people to be when they're driven to the toy aisle by their passion. You want them to be rewarded if you find what they're looking for. Is it still like a three month window that you want to be on shelves in advance of movies, or is that kind of compacted? Now? Figures that they might not be able to change. I've heard it varies. Like three months. Yeah, it varies. It's a lot with um, the retail set dates too. Um, it was, no, yeah, we don't dictate. There used to be more flexibility uh, in past years about windows of time, but you know, to make everybody's lives easier, we've been asked to try to hit a few key dates, and there's sometimes exceptions, but we try to hit, you know, what we're being you know, asked for by the major accounts because it's a lot of effort on on all of the the retailers to set shelves, and you know, I used to work retail. It's like this planogram set is not a fun time, so. You know, you don't want to have to be doing that too often throughout the course of the year. Is it deliberate? That it seems like a lot more now. I'm seeing a lot of these waves hit overseas before they're actually hitting here. Is that planned, or is that just them leaking stuff out? That's because the ship time from Hong Kong to Singapore is a lot shorter than the U.S. Um, so, yeah, that's a lesson I learned. They, they go past Australia on their way to us. and uh, <laughs> I can't... I learned a couple years ago to not plan any reveals after that, you know, that yeah. day because they do pop up in Asia first. So when's uh, Thing supposed to be dropping, the uh, Walgreens Thing? Uh, yes. Things should be, what, uh, mid-year? Yeah, I think it's like um, summer time frame. I, I saw uh, Mr. Fantastic is starting to show up now. Um, is that supposed to be, or is that another leak? No, uh, Reed should be, yeah, yeah, should be, be coming out right about now. We've been doing two, like we did Sue, and yeah. she was the first one. And, and I think between, John's between... Because um, so far I've only seen reports of Walgreens and Kentucky getting... <laughs> and like that. No, I actually saw uh, upstate New York. I saw a picture of someone in upstate New York that found uh, Mr. Fantastic. Um, any plans for an actual four pack for them, like all together and, yeah. and something? Or uh, I think in the future I would love to do that. I think we want to we want to make sure that Walgreens is happy with us and that they view this uh, uh, experiment as a success. So we wouldn't want to take those anytime. You know, I would say if we did a if we did a fantastic four four pack, that would be another year out. We want to make sure that they've sold through on the merchandise that they've invested in and they're pleased with it before we would redeco them and put them out in the multi pack. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that would be a, like a multi uh, a multi pack of four. Maybe with Doom would be a pretty awesome you know box set. We need a new Doctor Doom. Definitely, definitely. Can you break down the uh, the cinematic line? Uh, what's it called again? I'm sorry. Uh, anniversary. Is that what it is? The MCU 10th anniversary? The the uh, movie figures downstairs? Yes? No? Uh, yeah, uh, I, mean, I, I can try to. I don't know if I'm going to rattle them off in the right order. No, I just want to know... Um, well, the question is, being that this is something new that you guys are, are g going into, yes. are you going to really delve into all the characters from, from the film? Is that is that the plan? Are we going to get a claw maybe at some point? or? I hope so. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's going to come down to, you know, uh, like... You guys, are, you guys are smart enough to understand the basics by now. If it's successful, we're not going to walk away from it. You know, we'll figure out a way to extend it and do more with it. We wouldn't be calling it 10th anniversary per se because that's for this set piece of time. But you know, if the if the program does well, I think we would definitely look. We would love to look at ways to bring more of those types of characters out. You know, we got a we got a beautiful Black Panther line today. But I just watched the movie last uh, last yesterday morning, and you know, now I need I need Claw. I need Cherry. Uh, you know, I, uh, I, I, uh, and in Baku, you know, there's there's a lot more that you know I want to have on my uh, you know MCU shelves, and I think a lot of the fans, you know, both our age and the younger fans, man, this you know those, these things are being gobbled up by. I mean, my kids are probably warped because they're my children, but they love those things. They love the Marvel movies, and those are you know up until this year we hadn't been doing. Um, you know the the movie figures in a way that they were really into getting them because they're my guys are a little bit older. They like the you know they like the legends figures, and now that we're doing such great legends figures and six, they love that stuff. So it's nice to see kids playing with those characters and recreating the uh, 
movies yeah. in their minds the way, you know, similar to the way we do when we pose them out and get pictures and put them on shelves. I see some of the uh, distributors putting out um, the Nakia figure and just solid packs of, of Nakia, for, I guess, for Army Building. Did you guys intend that? Was that uh, purposeful or...? You're not even. You're not even aware. <laughs> no, you got so, people already making alternate heads for those. Uh, yeah, for absolutely. Yeah. We generally, do offer solid packs for every character. That's okay. That's how certain retailers' business model works, and it also allows, I think, some of the more uh, collector-focused accounts to chase certain guys, like you did with um, Deadpool and the Juggernaut fight, and like that, and like added more. Um, so it made, made it a little easier to get Deadpool, hopefully, in 2016. But yeah, that's typical. Would, would you guys be would you guys be into that if we made like you know three or four variant uh, Dora heads and threw them on that body and brought it out? With well, you guys you guys are a little behind. There's a, quite a few customizers out there already already doing that. But but yeah, absolutely. I'm sure people that don't trust the the hand of a customizer. Look like yeah, uh, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And I'm saying that because I'm one of those people. I've already got my down payment for my custom Dora Milaje head. So. <laughs> For the MCU line being five dollars more than the regular, I mean, what are we getting in the line that's making it more expensive? It's just a, a special program. I mean, it's a new line look. It's more premium packaging. Um, through as much as we can get into the figures themselves, um, it's a new technology and everything. So it's, uh, I'm just going after a little something different. Yeah. Is this a precursor to increasing the price on the entire line at some point? Or? I wouldn't say that necessarily. We're, we're living in the now, you know? Uh, and that's a, it is a one-off program <laughs> that as it stands right now. We learned that Marvel is doing another big celebration for something in the future. We'll do another, you know, big program ourselves. Question on the, uh, the weapons. So I'm seeing that you guys are... When you are including weapons, they look kind of cartoonish in, in a lot of instances. Is that Disney's influence on on the product, or I think we, I think where where we where in wherever possible, we like to focus on more fantasy blasters and things uh, across the line. You know, there are exceptions, uh, as you've seen, on certain characters where you know they're just. Um, so hard line to some particular type of uh, weaponry. Um, the most recent example I can think of is the Netflix Punisher. Mm -hmm. You know, the Netflix series has a little bit of a, a more, uh, got a little more tooth to it, and we gave him a more authentic, you know, uh, weapon that he would have from that type of line. But for most of the kid stuff, most of the classic stuff, you know, we like to, we like to. I like to play in a, in a, in a world of laser rifles and, and blasters as opposed to, you know, as opposed to the others. Gotcha. You can get more creative with it, too. We're seeing um, new designs for blasters, like you've got Fisha, Deathlock, coming out, things yeah. that I think eventually we could reuse for other characters. And, and, we, and there are, yeah, we are trying to make some new ones that have some different form factors and shapes that, you know, I, I, I hope will make you guys a little bit happier. You know, I, I understand that there's some people out there that want us to follow the, the letter of the law across, you know, uh, you know, Know, all of the, these products and uh, you know and we you know we, we, we try to put our best you know thinking towards where and when we use those things and you know we want to you know, want to make fun stuff I think it's time to retire that pistol that came with the Taskmaster what's that I'm sorry the pistol that came with the Taskmaster yes we the, are the Luger some, we are working on some new uh, I don't know if it's a Luger or a Ruger one of the two <laughs> I gotta ask. Did, did Kendall already ask you about the double jointed elbows on the female figures? Well, he talked. He that? talked about it a little bit. You talked about it a little bit because I know Midnight Proxima has them, yep. right? That's we, like we were up to three out of two hundred and fifty. No, we have the new Wasp figure, and she doesn't have the double jointed elbows. Right. Pepper does. So Pepper has double jointed elbows. Pepper's iron arm is double jointed. Oh, oh the, just the right arm. Yes. What about the left-handed female figures? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, I mean, <laughs> no, but is it something that we could see more of in the future? I mean, it's kind of, it, it really takes away from the figure a lot, especially for characters where you really want to, I mean, we pose the figures, right? I mean, that's what, and I'm also curious to know, like, when you guys are at conventions, like San Diego Comic Con, you guys put up these elaborate displays on the glass, right? They look amazing. Like, don't you guys ever get frustrated that there's no double-drained double figures? Like, while you're setting those up? 
We're very talented in our, in our <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and we can make things look absolutely amazing with whatever, whatever limitations are placed on us by ourselves, our licensors, or you know the almighty powers around us. Was that a, was that a big no, enough I, BS I, answer? I'm, I'm nodding my head behind the camera. You guys can't see it, but, but it would be is is that something that isn't just possible because 13 year old boys don't buy female superhero figures as often as they buy male superhero figures. So it's not justifiable to put that extra dollar into or however much it costs to get that double joint. I, I mean, there's you know the cost comes into play on everything we do, but we also have a giant library of uh, of existing arms and stuff out there. So when you know we have a chance to do some things from scratch from time to time, you know we're listening here with USA, and you know we like I said we Pepper and Proxima are the first two that we've taken that you know you know testing grounds and we'll see how they do we'll see how they look and you know um and i'm not going to say no to future stuff either you know we're just trying to you know get ourselves you know in a place where we're all happy I gotta ask. And, and you went from no double elbows for the last 10 years to two in one year well, we, oh okay yeah I guess. So, any plans for That's a huge improvement? Hey, 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 I knew you were going to use that against me because I've been waiting to ask this, and then sure enough, it's like you have. Uh, any plans for a totally new retooled? Just well, I guess it wouldn't be retooled, but a totally new female buck where you just kind of experiment with everything, with the double jointed elbows, the ab crunch, and just pretty much that same articulation that you're giving the males. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, as, as you guys, I'm sure you guys are sick of me saying these types of things. You know, we'll never say never to any of that type of exploration. Um, I personally think that we've still got ways that we can improve on the current articulation systems and on the female torsos. I think the ab, uh, the uh, torso rocker looks way better than the ab crunch because they're so thin. E even if it was uh, a one-off, something like maybe you could have tried it with the Black Widow figure that just came out with the bike. You know, being that. You know, these are new arms too. That don't have double jointed doubles. That's a that's a that's a very good point, and I, I wish I worked on that. I don't be able to answer that question for you. <laughs> Can you say anything for four inch collectors? <laughs> <laughs> hey Dwight, I know we got those video game figures, but for four inch collectors, are, are we gonna see any more just regular comic book single card figures anymore? Or is three three to quarter inch? Yeah, is that pretty much? Fun? I think we're always looking on ways that we can do more with you know all of the things that we have in our, our toolkit. And like no new no new movie two packs for these like Black Panther and Avengers or doesn't seem to be not currently no. I think the ones that we did last year with the Homecoming wave and. Uh, uh, the Ragnarok and the Doctor Strange were the last uh, movie three and quarter inch for, for now, but you know. Is the uh, recent closings of uh, the Toys R Us stores affecting you guys in, in any way? Are you guys projecting yeah, that it will? <laughs> are you projecting that it will affect you? I mean, you guys have pretty good distribution right now. You're in Walgreens, you're in Target, you're in Walmart, you're in every mom and pop shop, every we store. So We still have a very healthy relationship with Toys R Us. Mm -hmm. We're planning to make some more amazing stuff for them uh, in the upcoming year. And as far as anyone's told me, we are still all in for all of our amazing account partners, and we are doing the best we can to give you guys some amazing stuff across uh, all of them. And, and, and they're growing, as you saw, with doing things, you know, a couple years ago for Walgreens and now for GameStop. You know, if anything, it's only getting, you know, better and oh, more. And what Before to you get wait, wait, Latino superheroes, i got to throw my Latino superheroes. Asian ones, too. Asian right? ones, too. Well, we got Sunfire recently. When was the last Latino superhero that we got? What last Latino, Latino superhero? superhero. How about uh, America, uh, what's her name? America Chavez, uh, Sanchez, America oh, Sanchez. Chavez. That would be good if we could uh, round out uh, uh, Ultimates, that Ultimates team. That's a pretty diverse team. I think, I think those are wonderful questions. We need a Blue Marvel. Come on, Dwight. So post me some uh, post post me some uh, comments on who the, who the characters are that you guys. Want yeah, to you guys should open up a forum somewhere where people could uh, comment and give you suggestions for a, for that's figures a and thing for us to discuss with the Paul team. Yes, yeah. awesome. So we are gonna get kicked out of this room, um, but thank you guys for coming. Are you in charge of the Pulse team? I'm not in charge of the Pulse team, but I know who but the you, Pulse team is. But you've you've um, got their ear though. Yes. Sort of. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So how do you but, feel about no double jointed doubles on the female figures then? How do you feel about like this? Give me this again. We'll start this again. Um, but thank you guys for coming. Thank you for having um, us. You know, we really appreciate you guys coming. Um, this means a lot to us. And um, 
obviously keep the questions coming. We'll, we love to listen. Um, yeah, definitely open up. Talk to the post people. We we want to talk to them for sure. Which one? The vintage collection. The vintage. Would you like to see more? No. No. I have those figures. And then my Punisher came scuffed, which defeated your purpose. And we get into the other Punisher. The first one was super. You're supposed to keep on. I can't believe Crystal let me do at least one or two squares. I'm guessing you guys are holding off for some some big SDCC reveals, huh? I say Hi. way more positive things than negative things. What is your con schedule well, no, this year? Is San Diego, obviously. Um, from today going forward, the next chance that uh, I never know, but I hope that I get to be part of and be in front of you guys would be at Comic-Con. Um, and then uh, we usually like have the, uh, some people down at New York. Yeah, there won't be a Hascon yeah. this year. That'll be next year. Um, be at, like, the Canadian uh, was that? Like, Brian's right gone to. Uh, I, I, I forget the name of all the different ones, but the, you know, we, last year there's the Canadian one and the UK. Yeah, and, and he's been you know, part of some of those. So you know, we, we do try to figure out ways to get you know fan engagement, you know, for the fans across the world. So I don't know if you said this, but is there bendy wire for uh, Doc Ock and um, um, Sauron? No, his wings. His tail. No. Oh. No bendy wire for Doc Ock. But you can. But there are two shapes. There's two C-shaped tentacles and two S-shaped tentacles, and they can go anywhere can you, you swap want. Them? Okay. So you can mix and match them. If you bought two, you could put four C's. You, know, you can mix and what match them. What about uh, Omega Red? Him either? Uh, him neither, but he comes with, I believe, they are removable, and I think he comes with alternate ones. I think he comes with, like, just starting to come out, and then they pop out, and you get the full long with it, sorry, that you could wrap around someone's neck or, you know, whatever else. And Sauron's confirmed as the builder figure for or the second Deadpool way, right? Keep that in mind that you don't right here. overextend to the Yeah, I just got a whole bunch of I just got a list of figures I want to send you. <laughs> I want to see me. Because I noticed like like what was the wave like you didn't fully reveal? Wave today? Comes out I'm sorry. Like what was the wa wave you started to reveal but didn't fully reveal? It's like okay, it's five ninety nine for a fee. It's supposed to retail at twenty bucks. Oh, Venom wave, Venom wave, Venom wave Venom is ten bucks at most, and there's one more. Yeah, I'm too tired to go through the. Venom's gonna. Yeah, but I mean, I know you can. Venom will have a build a figure. Yes, Venom wave has a build a figure. That's Russell. Avengers wave still has. Uh, we announced we were allowed to announce the classic stuff here, the theatrical stuff, which is there's still a good chunk of that after you know we will, after March. They got a whole Jesse's got a whole pile of uh, special reveals for the uh, for SDCC for the, uh, for the uh, movie MCU stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, do you guys want to stick around and have okay. me tell you what's going to happen? <laughs> yeah, I would say, say no. Sure. Still tread a little lightly because since it would be the last thing I did for the company. <laughs> <laughs> I would take you out for a very nice dinner though, you know. Exact phrase, but actually, because that is the last thing that I would see. How do we? How do you think their, their development lead time is 19 months, 18 months sometimes? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I see Lego spoiling stuff all the time. Yeah. But what, what, what have we had? We've had conversations on Avengers three and four, Captain Marvel. So is your production quantity go up yep. every wave? Like, yeah. <laughs> so what's up? Are you guys like producing that? Yeah. You got you guys been on Spider Verse and Spider Man stuff heavy, and I love that. What, what's up with uh the villain uh Morlin? What's his name? With what? Uh, from Spider Verse. The oh, main the villains. Yeah. I think I think Morlin and his uh his family would be pretty freaking cool. Uh, from Spider Verse, the villains from Spider Verse. No, from the comics. Were any, were, were any of them Latino? <laughs> were they? I don't know. The villains from Spider Verse. Latino vampires or no? No vampires. We have some Latino. There's some Latino characters in Spider Verse. Those. Oh, Spider Ombre. Is, is there a spider? The spider? Probably. Like, there, we just haven't seen him yet. Oh, uh, okay. We haven't opened that door yet. How about, uh, how about a massacre? Massacre. The, That's uh, old old dude from uh, the Mor Morlocks, right? No, isn't that the isn't that the name for the uh, the uh, Hispanic Deadpool character? 
Is it? The one who wears the uh, the more loose fitted, more tattered uh, Deadpool character. Oh, I, I'm not familiar with that character. I was thinking about. Masker might be the wrong name, but Richter is the one. That's my number one. That one is. Especially now that we have Wonder yeah. Woman. No. Having a Richter, that would be really cool to have. I forgot about Richter. We asked Kevin Feige about that the other day, but Trevor was like, "Yeah, but but it's not your guys' fault. There's just not that many." It's like that's so above my pay grade. So that's why it should be easy to knock them out. Make a new one. Yeah, right. I know you we were excited to be able to get you guys small con last uh, last year. That yeah, was fantastic, that was you know. It's like we want to celebrate we want to celebrate everything, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Every, every, everybody deserves to have something that they can aspire to that looks and acts and has the same background as them. Period. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. And for the record, I gave Stan Lee crap about the lack of Latino superheroes first. So well, that's where that's, that's, where it's a, that's a great like, hey. idea. Because like, <laughs> he, can, he can really do a lot about well, fixing all yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, and that's basically what he work. said. Yeah. He said, expect the new motion picture coming out soon. And I was like, oh, it's going to happen. So great. <laughs> but I told him, do you guys know about the Condor? <laughs> it's a Latino superhero that it went straight animated DVD and it was horrible. I mean, it had his name signature all over it. And I was like, hey, I bought the Reptil- Condor. He's like, oh, you watched that? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. There's, oh, it's, it's his own thing that he did. Yeah, it's his own well, There's thing. Reptile, too. Like, Reptile's oh, yeah. another uh, yeah. Latino Marvel character. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Would that be? Would that be? Would that piss you off if we just made him as a raptor? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. just kept him in raptor. There's your Latino <laughs> hero. Well, yeah. The other white tiger has a mask on. Yeah, you know, it's true. I've raptor. already got the head sculpted. That that lizard downstairs. <laughs> There you go. So one of the Spider Girls is Latina, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, we did her. Yeah, that's we did her a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we did White Tiger. Yeah. So I don't know what you're talking about here. I didn't say there's no Latina superheroes. We've done almost all of them. He just wants a whole box set. <laughs> I just want a box set. <laughs> Um, and while you're taking requests, he wants like his own action figure. Like, yeah, the Shortness Prime yeah. figure. I'm still waiting on that. You to promise. put to put next to your uh, Dwight Stall yeah. Captain America action figure. Yeah. Oh my god, that would be so cool. That'd be so cool. <laughs> would you stop by the Giant Giant booth? Let's scan your head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, I think you should be the first Marvel Legend, like from real life. To, <laughs> it should that's, be you. I was really an action figure be. once, and I, that once is enough. <laughs> <laughs> If you continue oh, really? the Toy Biz tribute <laughs> wave, that would be If you, if you be get good. the uh, Elven Archer versus the Berserker 2 like pack, San Diego you take the helmet off and I'm the Elven Archer. Oh. I'm blonde and I have much longer than this, but, uh, <laughs> That's your face. That's, you know, it was a, yeah, it was, yeah, Damon and Alan Fine got into that line as well. I have the Alan, I have the Alan Fine. It's funny because time. he's the only guy in Middle Earth with just a mustache. <laughs> Like everybody else has got like a full beard or like a five o'clock shot. All right, we're getting out of here.